find the current through each resistor, you have the following circuit. Okay, find the current through each resistor. So find I1 and find I2. Okay, you can answer this question using three methods as shown below. So the first one, solution you have to remember the voltage on each branch is the same okay in parallel connection this is a parallel connection okay the voltage is the same on each branch so you can find the voltage because the voltage is the same on each branch okay you have the total current this is the total current which is going to split at this point and this current is going to join at this point you are going to have 6 amperes again the 6 amperes will split part of the current will flow on this branch another part of the current will flow on this branch and they are going to join at this point you are going to have 6 amperes again so the voltage is the same on each branch okay so you need the total current you have it and you also need the total resistance okay so you have to calculate the total resistance in parallel okay this is a parallel connection so you are going to use this formula okay for parallel connection okay one over the total resistance for parallel connection okay rp this is equal to 1 over 5 plus 1 over 10 okay this is equal to 3 over 10 3 over 10 equal 1 over rp you need rp rp is equal to 10 over 3 okay the inverse you are going to flip okay so 10 over 3 okay so you have the total current and the total resistance you can calculate the voltage okay times this this is equal to 6 divided by 3 2 times 10 20 volts this is the voltage so you have 20 volts on this branch and 20 volts on this branch now you can calculate i1 and i2 okay i1 is equal to you are going to use this formula to find i okay the current you are going to divide by resistance on both sides okay divide by resistance on both sides can you see on both sides okay can you see now you have this and this you cancel now you have the current is equal to v over r okay you are going to use r1 because you want to calculate i1 so this is equal to v over r1 okay you want to calculate i1 you are going to use r1 the voltage is the same on each branch okay the same on each branch so i can erase this this is equal to v 20 over r1 r1 is 5 this is equal to 4 ampere or 4 amperes now i2 i2 is equal to v over r2 okay remember the voltage is the same on each branch you have 20 volts across this branch and 20 volts 
across this branch. Okay, so this is equal to 20 over R2. R2 is equal to 10. This is equal to 2 ampere or 2 amperes. So you can see the greater the resistance, the smaller the current flowing through it. Okay, the smaller the resistance, the greater the current flowing through it. Okay, now another method that you can use to solve this question. Okay, you can use this formula to find I1. Okay, I1 is equal, you have the total current. Okay, total current, which is 6 amperes times you have R2 over R1 plus R2. So this is equal to 6 R2 10 over R1 plus R2. Okay, 5 plus 10. This is equal to 6 times 10, 60 over 15. This is 4 amperes. Okay, you can see. Now, I2, you are going to use this formula. This is equal to 6 R1. R1 is 5 over R1 plus R2. Okay, 5 plus 10. This is equal to 6 times 5, 30. 30 divided by 15, you have 2 amperes. So you have to know that the above formula, this formula, and this formula can only be used if you have two resistors in parallel. Okay? Only if you have two resistors in parallel, as in this case. Can you see? Let me show you. When you are calculating I1, okay, when you are calculating I1, you have R2, okay, R2 in the numerator. Okay, you have R2 in the numerator. When you are calculating I2, you have R1 in the numerator. Okay, you have to see that. Okay, let's carry on. Now, another method you can use this formula. Okay, so this is equal to you have I1 is equal to total current, okay, times in the numerator, you have 1 over R1, okay, 1 over 5, over, now you have 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2, okay, R1, R2, okay, 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2, okay, can you tell that this is the way we add resistors in parallel? So this is equal to, let me get the calculate. You have 6 times 1 over 5 in the numerator over 1 over 5 plus 1 over 10, okay, this is what you have. This is equal to 4, okay, 4 amperes. Now, I2, you are going to use this formula for I2, okay, so this is equal to total current, okay, total current 6, 1 over R2, this is R2. Okay, 1 over 10 over 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2. Okay, this is equal to, you are going to have 2 amperes. The above formula can be used if you have 2 or more than 2 resistors in parallel. Okay, when you are calculating I1. In the numerator, you have 1 over R1. Okay, I1 
you have in the numerator 1 over R1. I2, you have in the numerator 1 over R2. I2, you have in the numerator 1 over R2. Okay, so you have to see this. Okay, this is different from this. Okay, when you are calculating I1, you have R2. When you are calculating I2, you have R1 in the numerator. But with this formula, when you are calculating I1, you have in the numerator 1 over R1. When you are calculating I2, in the numerator, you have 1 over R2. Okay, so this formula can also be used for more than 2. Okay, you can have 3, 4, 5, 6, and so on resistors in parallel. So you can extend this formula. You can have plus 1 over R3 plus 1 over R4 plus 1 over R5 and so on. But make sure when you are calculating, for example, I5, you are going to have 1 over R5. Okay, if you are calculating I6, you are going to have 1 over R6 and so on. Okay, you have to see the difference. So, these are the three methods that you can use to answer this question. We are done.